If you have to ask how much, you can't afford it. Hey everyone, I'm Greco Fabulous, and I used to make YouTube videos. What? Don't look at me like that. I've been busy, okay? I don't have to explain anything to you. So this might be the most no dust statement of the century, but I had a great Christmas. Obviously much better than yours. So indulge me for the next few moments as I proceed to humble brag all over this bitch. All right, so since I haven't made an appearance on the internet in an ill minute, I gotta do some backtracking before we get to Christmas. So part of the reason why I've been so busy recently is because I actually started a new job. Obama called me directly and was like, dude, you gotta jumpstart this economy. And have you seen the Dow Jones lately? Uh, you're welcome, America. So my wife reached out to a big bad toy store and was like, I wanna celebrate this man of mine because he is bringing home the bacon. He is bringing home the whole damn pig. And I think he deserves an Ultra Magnus Masterpiece Edition from Takara. That's right, this ain't no Hasbro. This ain't your daddy's Transformers. This is from the Japanese. Of course, I am not allowed to open it. It's gonna remain sealed in the box, so I'm gonna have to adore it from afar. So it's kinda like my wife, once you buy it or marry it, you no touch anymore. On top of that, my co-workers, I was so revered by them that they gave me a Best Buy gift card on the way out, and I in turn turned that into hentai at the Sailor Moon Season 1 Part 1 Blu-ray combo. Sailor Moon Season 1 Part 2 Blu-ray combo. <laughs> fabulous And Samurai Pizza Cats. Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Then my birthday came around, which it does every year, and this is my score for that. I got a Stay Puff Burnt Marshmallow Man Pop figure. Got the Walking Dead Season 2 PS4 game uh, by Telltale. Nickelodeon's Doug, the real Doug, Screw Disney, the complete series on DVD. Love that journal writing bastard. The complete omnibus of milk and cheese, dairy products gone bad, hardcover. If you saw my Motor City Comic Con videos, you know that I had the extreme pleasure of meeting Evan Dorkin, the, the guy behind Milk and Cheese, and he was just a delight. And I got to haggle with him and grab some of his artwork, so even better. Then I got this really cool Ghostbusters Ultimate Visual History, which gives you all of this awesome backstory and visuals from the development of all the movies, the cartoon series, the comics, everything in the Ghostbusters world is in that book. Great coffee table book, but I drink hot chocolate, so this book is bullshit. And last but not least, this random helicopter radio controlled thingy, which is sure to get me in trouble with the FAA, but we just got this really young, exciting couple moving in next door, so I'm gonna use it to see what they're up to. And now, we're gonna go to Christmas! So all my Jewish subscribers out there, feel free to turn away at this point. That's me, just vomiting Christmas up all over the place. Look at it, it doesn't even fit in the camera. All right, so let's try to manage this chaos. So right here, I got the complete Gumby 50 series. I love that clay bastard and his friend Pokey. Uh, I just loved watching this on rerun, obviously. I wasn't born in the 50s, so I didn't see it live. So sue me, I can still enjoy it. Then right here, we got two Transformers Hikari figures. Uh, not really sure what that means, but it says Japanese vinyl. And it's made by Funko, the same people that make Pops. So this is a Optimus Prime, obviously very, very battle damage, is suffering from a rust of the crotch and various other places. And then this, although it's still labeled as Optimus Prime, it has that Nemesis Prime decal. So 
these are really cool figures that I did not have on my radar at all. And they're limited to a thousand pieces. Down here, you'll see I got a bunch of little Ninja Turtles figures. Leonardo, obviously. Here is the formidable Shredder. Then we got Casey Jones. Who? Casey Jones. He's joined by a Master Splinter. And this is a Mouser keychain. This is like an exclusive kind of like secret character figure. So it ends up being much cooler than any of the other mainstream guys. Hipster Mouser. So not mainstream. These figures are really cool. And they're actually like super posable. Like their ankles twist. So if you ever want to have a twist off come on baby let's do the twist come on baby let's do the twist and then sticking with small figures here is prowl so then here this guy is space ghost obviously needs no introduction this was randomly created by some guy on ebay just out of legos as you can see look at that that's kind of trippy huh Messing with your perspective. Got the Deadpool video game. Then I'm gonna swoop this guy in. Got the Transformers Vault, a book that I've had uh, on my eye on for a long, long time. Similar to the Ghostbusters, it's like a complete visual history of the toy line, the comic books, all iterations of the cartoon, the live action movies, literally everything Transformers related. So this is one that I'm definitely gonna read. And then over here in the corner, actually, one of the things that fell is we got a real Ghostbusters Color Forms playset still sealed. Look at that, 90 cents. Color Forms is like the name brand, but I guess there was a stick and lift. And they did the Transformers. And here's a Sailor Scout's Butterface variant. And it's printed on cloth for easy cleanup. I know clothes are for adults and clothes, you know, suck, but not when they're this. So this is a Optimus Prime. You got... <laughs> shake it off. Shake it off. You've got the... Okay, the word there that it's missing is the touch. So you've got the touch. I'm dreaming of a G1 Christmas. Then I'm going to swoop this guy in. This is a G1 Defensor. He's one of the combiner bots. Love me some combiners. This is 100% complete. Don't have all the accessories here, but um, these are made up of the Protecto bots. I'm gonna move him out of the way carefully and then bring in his buddy, Bruticus. Another G1 combiner. This is the Combaticons. Bruticus is just a beast. I love, love, love this combiner. Um, yeah, Defensor does not stand a chance. Of course, my wife doesn't stop there. Did you happen to notice that guy's feet? Yeah, that's Scorponok. Decepticon base, huge baddie, turns into a scorpion. Holy cannoli has this been amazing so far, but last and very not least, and just a testament to how much my wife pays attention and how I should really return the favor, but you might have heard that I missed out on a Craigslist deal for this really, really obscure, cool G1 thing that um, was like really cheap and affordable and I, I was just too slow on the take. And she remembered that and she doesn't watch my videos. She's completely embarrassed by this whole thing, but she remembered it and went out there and bought one. And what that is, and you might not think it's that cool, but I do, is an original G1 electronic talking helmet one shall stand one shall fall rodimus i am your father <sighs> all right everybody thank you so much for witnessing the resurrection you know hopefully this snowballs into something where i pump out these videos on a more consistent basis because i really missed it and from what i see being put out there by some of you other people you kind of need me.